So YouTube advertising is so confusing, like where do you start? You have no idea like what's a testing strategy, how many campaigns to launch, how many interests to target, what keywords to use, what placements to use, how to do the ad groups, like it's so confusing compared to Facebook. And that's when I'm gonna break down the YouTube testing strategy that everyone can use. Like this is the strategy I use, and I'm just gonna share with you guys completely for free. Like if you guys wanna run a profitable business, you definitely wanna tap into YouTube advertising because it's so untapped right now. CPMs are so low, they're like $5 to the US and no one's advertising. You guys wanna watch the very end if you guys wanna see the whole testing blueprint because I literally give every single step away leaving no stone untapped. Before we get into today's video, let's start by announcing last video's winners for $1,000 worth of courses of consulting course with me. The winners here, if you guys wanna qualify, all you have to do is drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like this video, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that, let's get right into today's video. So, YouTube ads testing strategy. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by collecting placements. Now, there are two types of placements. There's actual YouTube videos and YouTube channels. So what you want to do is you just want to search dropshipping and there'll be hundreds and hundreds of dropshipping videos if you're advertising in a dropshipping niche. Now if you're advertising products within the cat niche, you can search up like cats, um, cat training, cat bed, cat food, and there's a bunch of videos. And what you want to do is you want to collect 500 plus videos. Literally just copy the URL into an Excel sheet, into a notepad. And you could also even hire a virtual assistant just to do this. And then you could also collect channels, collect 10 plus channels in your related niche of the product you're selling. So that's what you wanna start, collecting placements. Next, you wanna start collecting keywords. What you wanna do is you wanna find 50 to 100 keywords. So let's say I'm in the dropshipping niche, I'll put in the keyword dropshipping. How to start dropshipping, Shopify, how to make money through e-commerce, e-commerce, all these different things. And what you can do is you can just search up, sort of say dropshipping and in YouTube suggested, they'll show you like 10 more different keywords that you could go ahead and utilize. And it's pretty easy to get 50 to 100. So that's the second thing you wanna collect. Now, after you've collected a bunch of placements and keywords and sort of have it all in a note, what you wanna do is then you wanna create the ad. What you wanna do is you wanna have two different ads. You wanna have a long ad, which is roughly around four minutes, and a short ad, which is roughly around one minute. Now, when it comes to scripting your ads, um, I have three videos. Um, these are the videos you can search them up on my channel and they give you the whole tutorial on how to go ahead and script my YouTube ads, everything to what I say in the first 30 seconds, to what I say in the last 30 seconds, what I add in between, pain points, etc. Everything's included. And I'm gonna be releasing many, many more YouTube ad script videos. I think there's gonna be, there should be a video up called um, the 60 second ad. So you sh if you search it up, there should be a video on that already. I don't have a screenshot of it now because it's not edited yet. Um, but by the time that this video is up, just search up 60 second ad on my YouTube channel and you should be able to find it. Next is the campaign setting. You just wanna do a video campaign, um, do the customizable option. Don't optimize for sales lead or whatever. Just go for the last custom option and then optimize for cost per view and you wanna set your cost per view at 10 cents. Now, if you wanna know more in depth about my settings, I think there's a video um, that's roughly three, four videos before this video showing the whole campaign setup when it comes to my YouTube ads. Now, the whole testing setup. This is sort of where I'm gonna give you guys all the golden nuggets and this is basically the blueprint. This is something that like people would pay like hundreds of dollars to learn in a course and the course, if it's a bad course, wouldn't even give you this strategy. That's why all I ask, hit the subscribe and like this video because I'm just giving free knowledge away completely for free every day and this is the formula you're gonna have two campaigns and the difference between the two campaigns is one campaign is going to be just for placements one campaign is just going to be for keywords and the reason why you want to split it up is you want YouTube and Google to spend an even amount on their placements versus the keywords if you have the placement and keywords under the same campaign Google isn't going to spend your budget evenly so that's why you are split it up and I have a video on that exact topic how to go ahead and properly split test Google Ads. That video is somewhere on my channel. You go click it here, go watch that video, very important. But you basically have two campaigns and then in each one of the campaigns there's gonna be two ad groups. 
The difference between the two ad groups is one is going to be the one minute ad and one is going to be the four minute ad. See how you segment everything? Like rather than having those two ads under one ad group, you want to have the two ads separated by two ad groups and then the two different type of targeting placements and keywords separated by two campaigns. Just because Google doesn't really split test things properly, it would sort of optimize and spend majority of the budget on a certain thing, whether it's ad one, ad two, or placements or keywords. That's why you wanna separate everything. And this is basically the blueprint. And then when it comes to budget, you wanna spend $10 per day on each one of the campaigns. So campaign one, $10 a day, campaign two, um, $10 a day. And that's the minimum. The more you spend, the better, because then you'll be able to collect much more data. And then how long do you wanna test this? You wanna test it for three days. So you'll be spending roughly 30 days on average. And three days is a minimum because any less, you won't be able to really get an accurate test on like how well the campaign's performing, just because there are such things as bad and good days. You know, what if you advertise on just a bad day where like everyone in the world is just having a bad day or Google changed up its algorithm and hence everyone, not only you, are getting bad results. And that's why you wanna sort of run it over three days because this will give you a true average results of that campaign and if it's a winner or if it's not. If you don't do this, you won't be able to get an accurate test and you'll be killing based on bad data and that campaign could have been a very strong winning campaign but you just couldn't tell just because it's just had that bad day and again what if a campaign just had one off good day like what if it just performed super well that day you bumped up the budgets like you went from ten dollars a day to fifty dollars a day and you just saw everything crash if you waited three days you would have found that that campaign would have totally sunk on day two and three and you would have had enough knowledge to go ahead and kill it on the third day. So it's very important to let your campaign run for at least three days. The longer you let it run, the more accurate the results would be. Like I tend to like to let my campaigns run for at least four to five days, but if you guys are on a budget, you could definitely let it run for only three days and kill it on the third day if you're on a budget. But yeah, that's the whole strategy. As you can see, I laid everything out for you. So let's sort of do a recap. First, you wanna start by collecting placements, at least 500 to 1,000 videos. Now, the reason why you want so many videos is a lot of these videos, they're not, they don't get that many views. Like, they don't get like, say, a few hundred views every day after it's sort of like been launched. Like, for example, these videos are two months old, five months old, four weeks old. They don't get like a few hundred views every day. And out of those few hundred, probably only like 50% of those people don't have ad blocker and then only like 50% of that, 50% of people would go ahead and watch an ad. So you wanna have a lot of videos to actually get traffic. Then you wanna go ahead and collect a bunch of keywords. Um, keywords are super powerful. Um, they're just as strong as placements, but you'll get different results. You wanna get 50 to 100 keywords. Then you wanna go ahead and create two different ads one short ad and one long ad because that will go ahead and allow you to split test and find which ad performs better. Next, campaign settings, cost per view, 10 cent per view. Then you wanna go ahead and set up your testing phase by having two campaigns, campaign one, campaign two, and you split it between placements and keywords and each one of those targetings you have two different ad groups, one for the one minute ad, one for the four minute ad, and then for the script for those ads, you can find on my channel. And then the budget, you wanna set at $10 per day for each campaign, and then you wanna test it for at least three days for the reasons I mentioned here. So you could go ahead and read those. But yeah, as always, these slides completely for free, then in the description below, I know a lot of people find value with having these slides on their desktop, and I know you wanna follow these slides, you wanna have them set up, so you can go ahead and set up your ads and watch my slides and PowerPoints so you could follow it step by step. So the slides, as always, completely for free in the description below. I wanna give you guys as much value as possible, as always. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Question of the day, do you have a YouTube ads testing strategy? This is just my testing strategy that I know a lot of top advertisers use. Let me know what your strategy is, drop in the comments below. I wanna be giving away every single thing I know about YouTube ads, just because I know that no one in this space knows anything about AdWords or Google advertising, and I wanna be the first to give everything I know completely away, completely for free, just because I know how much potential there is in YouTube advertising and how much success a lot of people are getting in AdWords, but knowledge is sort of sharing how it works and that's my goal with this channel. Other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with much more value. Peace.
you won't be able to really get an accurate test or litmus or a lit litmus what's that term, term? litmus test how to say it <coughs> litmus test you won't be able to get like a litmus test litmus test on like how well the campaign is performing